Hey Saggies, welcome to your love reading for the rest of 2019 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And of course, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. I know I always forget to say that. So for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please look below for the link for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. It will be very informative for you on how to figure out what signs to watch, the terminology, how energy works because it's fluid. Messages can be reversed or vice versa. We don't get hung up on car on, on the gender of the cards because we'll have masculine and feminine energy. Keep in mind, this these messages are not for everybody. We readers are reading for thousands of people here on YouTube, and the, every message cannot be yours. So don't try to make it fit, okay? Don't try to make it fit. It'll make you crazy trying to do that, okay? All right, Saggies, let's get into your meditative session. So I saw the hippo. <laughs> I did see a hippo. I feel like that's just about strength and persever per perseverance and resilience. If I could speak, excuse me. Um, Sag, I also heard use your fire. Interesting. Use your fire. I feel this this huge energy, like push. I feel an energy of pushing. Um, I feel like the divine is trying to push you, Sag, to go off into something new or to break away from something you're holding on to. And I do feel that. And Sag, keep in mind, like I said, energies can be reversed or vice versa. This could be someone who's holding on to you, right? It could be someone in your environment who's experiencing this or someone who you know or someone you're energetically connected to, okay? So just also keep that in mind. It might not be your specific message. Um, but that's what I was getting. It's like someone is holding on for dear life to something that they need to let go of. They need to. It's like it's decision time and there's a big push or pressure to go off into the unknown and to take a risk take a big leap of faith like very heavy full energy and it's going to take strength to do it it's going to take your fire to do it as well Sag maybe you have to be creative maybe you have to go and create something either way you have to let go of something in order to do this and the divine's pushing you but you're not wanting to do it <laughs> or you're not sure or maybe you're just not sure maybe you're feeling that pressure to go and do something or to like something has to change but you're not sure exactly how or what or in what way you're just not seeing it completely okay so keep in mind like I said it could be someone else it doesn't have to be you um I was also getting this energy of like there's there's other shit waiting for you like there's other stuff you're supposed to do or there's other people you're supposed to meet and it's like those opportunities are like almost fleeting because you're not going towards that direction or you're not letting go of something you're like really holding on super tight to okay Sag so just keep that in mind let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle I'm using the radiant wise deck please record any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for Sagittarius summarizing Venus and Jupiter for the rest of 2019 Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Sagittarius the rest of 2019. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, I just had to look. <laughs> what did I say? Opportunities are waiting for you, Sag. You might have an opportunity and love waiting for you and whatever change you're supposed to make and you're like so not even aware like that's what's waiting for you. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, the moon rising Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Okay. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh. oh. <laughs> King of Cups. Scorpionic energy. It could also be water or air. I did just hear fire. So Sag just could be your energy. It could be your, you could be connecting to a fire sign or there could be fire in both of your charts, of course, but there's love on the board. Someone's in love. Someone's in love or you got, you have a love interest in whatever change you have to make. Like Sag, if you have to make a change, there's a relationship supposed to happen. Okay. On the other end of that. And you just don't know, because I feel like it's not known to you. It feels like a full energy that you're, you're being pushed to harness. Like, you have to go into the unknown and take that risk, trust it, but you're not sure. I feel like you're more just not sure. Like, I feel like you feel the pressure, but you're just like, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Like, I feel like you're in that kind of energy. Like, you don't totally see it, Sag. And I feel like you might be holding on to something. You could be holding on to someone you love. And maybe you have to let go of someone you love to go off into this new thing, whatever it is. But I do feel opportunities for you, Sag, and this change that has to happen. There's also Scorpio, the sign of change, right? Change has to happen right now. You gotta let go of the past. Don't don't let whatever it is you're holding on to become an anchor and let you sink. Like, don't let that happen. But we do have someone in love on the board here. Keep in mind, it's just the pre-shuffle. 
You could also be a Casper. Please bring forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Whoa. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Holy shit, Sag. Mm. Sag, this is like, this is the perfect little couple energy for the perfect partner. In business or love, honestly, because this is someone who puts their, who invests their emotions, who commits on an emotional level and on a practical level and a tangible level, and who is serious about business and or love. Their emotions and their resources and their energy are in it. They show up and they care. This is someone who is showing up and who really cares about what they're showing up for, okay? This is definitely the same person here. It could be you. It could be someone you're connecting with. It could be someone you have to leave behind or someone you have to, you're supposed to go towards, okay? I'm sorry, I'm getting all passionate. I don't know why I'm getting all passionate. I feel like this person's very passionate. I feel like this person's very passionate. Someone might be a very um, passionate speaker. Someone might be very passionate. Oh, I just heard teacher. Oh, okay. I did just hear teacher. Someone could, oh, so, oh. Saggy. Some of you are supposed to teach. Some of you are supposed to teach. Some of you are supposed to go and be a speaker. Maybe you're having trouble accepting that. Maybe you're having trouble accepting that. Some of you already do this for a profession. Or you're about to meet some, oh, you're, some of you are about to meet someone. Some of you are supposed to. They're telling me supposed to. So I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm getting so excited. Every time I'm in your energy, it just gets me all amped up. Sorry. Let me rein it in. Let me rein it in. I know it can be a little much. Let me rein it in. Uh, Saj, some of you are supposed to meet a teacher or a speaker, but you have to make a change to get there. That's for some of you. Others, this is something you already do, okay? Others, this is something that you're supposed to do, but you're not seeing it or you don't want to accept it. But this person, whoever this is, they're very passionate. They're very passionate. Big heart. They've got a big heart. Please bring forward any messages of truth, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. I, oh, I just heard scientists. Okay. That's cool. I just heard scientists. Ooh. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> so that's just going to be a bomb reading. We've got the Empress. Mm, Venusian. Libra energy could also be Taurus. If this is not the makings of a very long standing loving high quality respected relationship i don't know what is do you see the way he's looking at this empress sag do you see that shit <sighs> some kind of change has to happen for this to happen is what i'm getting you have to let something go and head towards this or this person has to let something go and head towards you it's that kind of energy like Something needs to be dropped or let go of for an amazing partnership to happen in business and or love. And for some of you both. Some of you are with this person. And the change has to be something within your lives to get stronger. Okay, to get stronger. Wow. Please bring forward any messages of truth, thing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Let's see here. Oh, of course, there's the problem. With energy like this, there's always going to be something that has to be released, right? And let go of Eight of Swords. There's a thing that needs to be let go of with the Magician. This is a gem very heavy mercurial energy with these two cards. Magician is mercurial, but Eight of Swords is also Gemini. So heavy Gemini right here. Could also be Aqua and Scorp for me with that uh, Magician energy, Divine Masculine energy at that. Yeah, it's like I said, it's like whoever has to make this change, one or both of you, not seeing it, it's like, it's like, I, I, I don't, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? I don't know why I'm so sassy. I'm sorry. But, and it's so funny. I got scientists. The magician always reminds me of the scientist. It's an alchemist. Always reminds me of that. Do we have three people here? Oh, I don't want, no, no. They're telling me no, no, no. Um, it, this is an, this is an energy of creation. This, what, <laughs> sorry, Saj. This, whatever this connection is, Saj, for you. It's supposed to come together and it's not. With that Eight of Swords, it's like stalled. It's stalled. It's stalled. It's stalled. That's what they're telling me. It's stalled. Please bring forward any messages. 
too many spirit too many please afford any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter the rest of 2019 someone has a lot of resources i feel like it's a masculine energy a lot of resources actually for some, this masculine energy wants to elevate the feminine energy to a place of like strong financial standing and resources. For others of you, you both have your own resources. Ew, page of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, something's not being seen. Something's not being something's not being acknowledged or seen or understood. I feel like it's on the feminine side because this masculine is like looking at, <laughs> looking at this feminine. Actually, I know this is a pre-shuffle, but I'm so in I'm so in this. I want to actually run with this as the spread. I'm so in this energy. Um, so let's go ahead and keep going, see what other cards want to come out here. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. And there we've got the world. Talk about change, right? This is Saturn energy, which is Capricorn. I've been talking about this Capricorn energy forever, coming into this time period, going all the way through February. A lot of Capricorn energy. It's also fixed. So Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scor Taurus, Scorpio. It could also require, like I said, a big change. For some, it's an actual move. For some, you have to move and you're not seeing it. And like this beautiful thing, it, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's what I keep getting. It's not being seen. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just like astounded because it's like I can feel the energy there is so abundant. Please afford any messages of truth, <laughs> truth and love for those who need it for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Any messages from my Saggies, please, regarding love? Ooh, three of Cups. Celebration. Joy. Can't see. This is just, this is beautiful. Can't see any energy. It's just not being seen it's not being seen overall energy oh thank god the hermit <laughs> virgo energy and energy of trying to see okay we got virgo energy in the board trying to see can we know the virgo could have that in your chart not necessarily this is someone trying to to see because they can feel they can feel that something has to happen they can feel something's going on but they don't understand fully so they're looking for enlightenment they're looking for the light they're looking for the star underneath that yeah sun in reverse leo energy they're trying to find it because they don't have the full understanding of what has to happen here underneath that the ace of wands passion and a new beginning yeah there's something beautiful coming in here for you sag or trying to happen for you trying to manifest trying to come forward but it's stalled because there's something there's something being missed and I think whatever that is, it's like not understanding that maybe you have to let go of something or something could be blocking your intuition, but something is not being seen or acknowledged. I know it's not like a broken record. I just have to say it over and over so you guys really hear me, okay? That's what happens with readers sometimes. Our spirit guides tell us to repeat a lot of things because you're either not hearing it or it really has to cement in your brain. This beautiful thing, of it's celebration. It is celebration. It could be a possible reunion for some of you. I don't think so with the world here. This feels like brand new brand new fire what did i say use your fire sag use your fire you gotta see that thing you're not seeing whatever it is you gotta let go of or maybe like i said it could be this person i really feel like it's the feminine energy though i really feel that way but like i said it could be the other person too because i was just picking up on it intuitively it has to be seen it has to be figured out it's got to be figured out there's beautiful shit here that can happen beautiful stuff and it's just being stalled Oh my God. Sorry. I'm like <laughs> very like pensive. It just, I don't know, big, a lot of tension. But I think I'm just having a lot of tension in this situation. A lot. I feel like it's from this masculine energy. Almost like this masculine energy is very anxious. So let's take a look at this masculine energy. It's funny because like we have a lot of Gemini energy on the board, right? <laughs> and every time I get two court cards for one person, it always reminds me of Gemini. Anyway, that could be significant for some of you. It is your seventh house, your natural uh, partner there let's look at this king let's look at this king uh let's do cosmic i like the cosmic deck tell me about this king tell me about this king for sagittarius for us to 2019 yeah i just keep hearing big heart with this person big Oh, 222 on my stove. Uh-oh, 222 on my stove. Uh, that's so funny. 
Uh, and my microwave just turned to 222 because they're a little off. And I also haven't changed the time because actually one, it's actually 111 here in LA. No, 112, excuse me, 112, one, Jesus, 122. It's 122 here in LA. I never change the time on my stove. It's 222 on the stove. I know, I'm all over the place. So I laughed because this person has a big heart, but they said big mouth as well. <laughs> they, have a, they have a big heart and they've got a big mouth. I don't know if they have a big smile. For some, it's just a big smile. Or for others, they just, they just talk a lot. Tell me about this king. Time of this king for Sagittarius. The rest of 2019. Time of this king for Sagittarius. Ooh, what did I say about anxiety and anxiousness? Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. It's interesting. There might be some mirroring going on here because I feel like the Empress is the one that has to kind of figure shit out. Because there's there's again something not being seen. Sorry. Something not being seen or accepted or acknowledged about this new beautiful thing that's got to come together or happen. But I felt that like that big heart, that big talker, that big like tension that this king is feeling. But Nine of Swords in the verse, they're, they're coming out of that. They're coming out of that. And what relieves anxiety and tension is knowledge for the most part. Knowledge or movement. Knowledge or movement. So either this king is coming to awareness, full awareness of what has to happen or they're about to make a move. Talk about this king for Sagittarius. What did I say? They're about to make a move. Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. They're gonna make a move towards this Empress. They want to, they want to. I still feel that, that thing of something has to be acknowledged or let go, or something has to be acknowledged of letting go of something, like understanding you have to let go of something or understanding something has to change to have this. It's on either side. It's either on the Empress's side or the King's. I feel like it's the Empress, but this King is about to make a move. Tell me about this King. Tell me about this King for Sagittarius for the rest of 2019. Ooh, three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. Interesting. They have to let go of some old, some someone. They have to, yeah, okay, that's what I felt. Victory, victory of letting go of the past or victory of letting go of some old pain, old wounding or an actual other person or energy. Something was released and let go of and that's allowing them to be victorious and allowing them to move towards the Empress here. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. That was the energy I was picking up on. Tell me more about this king. The chariot, Cancerian energy, shit, they're coming in fast. <laughs> oh, empresses, so, okay. Maybe you have to let go of something too, or maybe you're still just like not fully seeing that this person's like wanting to come in or trying to come in. The big change that had to happen, something had to be released. It looks like the king is releasing something on their side here. Wow, coming in fast. Tell me about the king for Sag. Got two heavy movement cards here for the king. Tell me about the king. Tell me about the king for Sagittarius. Ooh, oh, it looks like it was a person. Oh shit. It looks like it was a person. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. More Cappy energy could also be Earth or Water. Someone who wasn't loyal. Someone who was just straight up not loyal. I oh, sorry, I actually just heard mischievous mischievous someone who is um self-serving someone who wasn't a team player someone who was out for their own self-interest this is what this person let go of this is what this king is letting go of and it was someone who was a true pair situation so definite soulmate energy overall we have the eight of cups piscean energy so moving on yeah this person's leaving someone look at that this person's leaving a person behind that was not loyal to them very self-serving energy and they're going to their 10 and they're looking at this empress underneath that judgment fire energy also scorpionic energy for me as a reader it was the right thing it was the right judgment call this card's coming out for everybody at this time because we are in judgment day energy quite literally wow 
wow. I, like, I don't know why it's like, it's it's almost giving me the chills a little bit. Yeah, and then underneath that, four pentacles in reverse, letting go. Letting go of the thing that they were clinging on to, that person they were clinging on to. Whether this is like something, like an old wound, it could be an old wound. You know, maybe they were with someone who cheated or with someone who's very selfish or very greedy. I'm also hearing greedy, especially with all these pentacles energy. It could be someone who's very money focused. Um, it could be someone they were with in the past and they carried that wound around. They had to let that shit go in order to embrace the empress here that they have their eye on. Or it could be someone they actually have to like leave. And it's the right judgment call. It's the right thing. And this is kind of a sad eight of cups. It's not, a, it's not a very empowering eight of cups. It's a little bit of a sad one. It's a little bit of a sad one. But anyway, so they're on the move. They're on the move and they're letting this person, this wound go. And now we have... <laughs> the Empress with the Eight of Swords and the Magician. So what this, this beautiful thing that has to come together, it's being halted. It's being halted with this Eight of Swords energy. Uh, so let's look at the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the, okay, the King had to let something go. The Empress is the one who has to see. The Empress has to see while this King has to let shit go. So let's see if the Empress can see. Usually the Empress does, usually. I'm gonna use Crystal Visions for this one. Talk about the Eight of Swords. I just heard Gemini. Talk about the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. For the rest of 2019. Talk about the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius for the rest of 2019. I feel like this Empress is preoccupied very preoccupied what is she so preoccupied by oh for some it's just work this empress is preoccupied by something like very very distracted ego focus i just heard ego focus eagle eye they're really focused on something talk about the eight of swords i keep hearing gemini <laughs> talk about eight of swords for sagittarius Talk about the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius the rest of 2019. God, that Queen of Pentacles likes attention. They're trying to grab, this energy is trying to grab my attention. They're very greedy with time and money. Talk about Eight of Swords. Four of Wands, Aries energy, stability. Stabil I'm hearing creation as well. Creating stability. Creating stability could even be creating a relationship. That's what this Empress is not seeing. And that's what's being halted. That's what's being halted. Do I have this Eight of Swords? Yeah. Page of Swords with Eight of Wands in reverse. There's that stall. The stalling energy. Eight of Wands in reverse is Sag. Page of Swords. I'm actually... It's it's wintry energy. They like specified winter. It's also a little fall. I mean, if you look at... If you study it. But um, they're saying winter specifically. So maybe this will all transpire through the course of winter season. Someone knows they want, someone wants this. Someone really, really wants this. I feel like the masculine energy is just looking at this empress like, yes, I want, like, I want this. I want this with you. Like, watching, this king is definitely watching this empress, for sure. I mean, even the way the cards lay, it's like, definitely watching this empress, but this empress has to see it. And they're not. They're distracted by something, I can totally tell. Talk about the Eight of Swords. This king might also be taking their time to come in after dropping this queen of pentacles or dropping this wound because, you know, for, if it's a wound, it requires some healing, right? I mean, that's a very sad eight of cups energy. So they could be taking their time trying to strategize on how to come in as well, which could also be selling the situation. Talk about eight of swords. Hold on. Wow. Wow. That same sun in reverse. Look at that. Two suns in a verse and the six of cups, scorpionic energy. It could also be past life, karmic soulmate energy. It's nostalgia as well. It's also love. It's also love and butterflies. Not seeing it. This empress is not seeing it. I can. T <laughs> I don't know what they're distracted by, but I feel like even the king is like, how can they not? Like, 
I feel like this king is doing their own, like, a little bit of their own healing process. They got to heal from dealing with this queen of pentacles or dealing with that wound. They're strategizing on how to come in. They're watching this empress, like, what's a good approach? I know I want this, but the empress is not giving me attention. The empress isn't even looking at me. Is the empress even, like, really my empress? Like, I feel like that's what this king is doing. A little bit of confusion because this empress is very distracted. Very distracted. Tell me about the eight of swords. Yeah, tell me about the eight of swords. For Sagittarius for the rest of 2019 keep hearing Gemini it's making me insane now we have a king of swords in reverse Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra Ooh, is this why they don't see oh shit god how many people are involved in this for some this is what's distracting the empress a masculine energy who's actually not very communicative this is crazy so this, this king who wants this empress, this king of pentacles, king of cups, dynamic duo of energy for the perfect partner. Not perfect, but like the partner you want to show up, right? They're dropping a queen of pentacles who is very greedy with their time, with their money, very disloyal, very self-serving. Whether it was an old one they've been carrying around or someone they're actually with or dealing with, they're dropping that person. They're letting that go because that's the thing that needed to be let go of. This empress is hella distracted. Hella distracted. Has, doesn't have full clarity on the situation of this new beginning or what is about to transpire or is supposed to transpire. The Sempress is feeling a push. They don't really know because they, they can't see. They're like, they, they don't really know what to do or they don't really see what they're supposed to do. And they're very distracted by something or someone. And it does seem to be a King of Swords universe energy. Someone who's not very communicative. Someone who could also be a little manipulative or narcissistic. So it's very interesting because these two, I think, are mirroring each other. <clears throat> Hold on. Hmm. These two are mirroring each other a little bit. This king had to drop someone who's self-serving, greedy, all of that. And this empress is being distracted by someone who might even be playing mind games with them. A self-serving energy. This king is letting this queen go, but this empress is still distracted by this king energy. And it might be because they love them. I get that. But this is quite clearly two people that like could have a really beautiful thing and they each have someone in their life that's causing problems or obstacles from coming together. <laughs> I don't know why I did it like that. From coming together. Overall, we do have the Four of Cups. Wow. And the Star in Reverse. Aquarian Energy and Cancerian Energy with the Four of Cups. Yeah, and this Masculine Energy is, look this masculine energy is looking at this Empress like, are they even interested in me? I don't think they care. I don't think they care. With that Four of Cups in the Star Universe, this is like not wanted. Like I'm not really wanted by this Empress. This Empress is too distracted by this masculine energy over here. Why would they even want me? Even if the even if this king is not aware of this masculine energy around this Empress, like if they don't even know of this person, they can tell there's an energy there. I don't know how men do that. I have to be honest we're talking energies but men have that like weird sixth sense where it's like they can just feel that masculine energies are around a feminine energy or distracting a feminine energy even if they don't even know of the person they can just sense it like they can just feel it it's kind of a weird man thing anyway i just felt the need to share that but yeah these two are marrying each other they both have to do something to come together to have something really beautiful and it's not being seen i'm sorry i'm almost getting frustrated for you guys now um let's clarify some of these energies I'm just deciding which one to go for i mean we know why it's not being seen we know why let's see what can be had let's see what can be had let's look at the world for some of you this is a reconciliation between this king energy that's dropping this queen of pentacles who wants this empress could be a reconciliation i just i'm gonna hold up a card sorry <laughs> for some it is a reconciliation between this person and this person for some not for all mostly it's just about celebration it's mostly just about celebration it feels big it feels like something big is supposed to happen yeah let's look at the world um I want like a very like romantic deck. I can't use the one I want because it's YouTube. Oh, we'll go for spellcasters. Talk the world for Sagittarius. Why about the world? 
for Sagittarius. Talking about the world for Sagittarius. So I just want to summarize. Both of these energies have to cut energetic ties with people. This one, a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, very self-serving energy. This one, a King of Swords in reverse. Again, another self-serving energy. I feel like this one's mess, um, dealing with someone more who plays mind games. And I feel like this one's dealing more with someone who like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just selfish and greedy. <laughs> very selfish and greedy. And either way, they're both dealing with self-serving energies. They have to cut the ties, whether they were committed to these people or they're just like talking to these people or it's just a wound in their in their mind or a wound in their heart that they have to cut those ties with to make space and to see clearly of what's supposed to happen here. OK. All right. So I'm at the world. So I'm at the world. For Sagittarius, tower in reverse. Yeah, see, cutting those ties, scorpionic energy. Could also be uh, Aries because it's Mars. Um, yeah, these, these ties have to be cut. These ties have to be cut. And again, it's indicative of the energy we're in where it's like we have to get rid of people to make space for the people we're supposed to um, have in our next chapters and our next journeys. Talk about the world. Talk about the world. Ooh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini could also be air or fire. It might be a little dramatic to cut some of these ties for you guys. God, I just, I also feel it's just like the not talking to each other about this. Yeah, not, not seeing it, not acknowledging it, not talking about it. Like both of you are in your own worlds dealing with your own shit, but this king is the one who is aware of the empress and aware of wanting to come together with the empress and needing to. But they're not talking to each other. The Empress is not aware. The Empress is totally distracted by a completely different energy. And it's making this king feel like, God damn it, I don't think I can actually make this happen. Sagis, don't miss out on this. If you got someone like this in your life who's manipulative or not really talking to you that much or putting you on ice and hot and cold, hot and cold, or playing mind games with you, let him go. Even if it's a wound and you're not talking to them anymore and you're still holding on to someone from the past or a wound you haven't worked through, please work through it. Please work through it. I don't want you guys to miss this. Time out the world. It, I don't think these two are talking, but if they are, they're not talking about the thing they need to talk about. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces could also be water or fire with the Nine of so Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. And the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here. Yeah, there's like, there's no approaching right now. There's no approaching because someone already feels rejected before they even try by this Empress energy. And this Empress is way too distracted. You see that? She's the Nine of Pentacles energy here. She's way too distracted. And this King is not coming forward because of it. They're a little scared to try. Because they know. They can feel another masculine energy around. They know. Talk about the world. Talk about the world for Sagittarius. The rest of 2019. Talk about the world for Sagittarius. The rest of 2019. Over energy. Jesus. Page of Swords. And the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy. The king is aware. The masculine energy, it can be a woman, doesn't have to be a man. We read energies, not gender. Oh, I didn't do my whole spiel. Oh, well, you guys know how this works. They're very aware. With that page of swords of king cups, they're very freaking aware. And they're watching this empress. And they're not budging because they know this empress is distracted by another masculine energy. And because of that, they don't feel like this empress is going to want them. And whoever this empress is being distracted by, and again, it, it could be energetic where this empress is still hung up on somebody or still thinking about someone. Men feel that. Men do feel that. I'm just saying. For most of you, this masculine energy is a man. For most of you. It could also be a female. Either way. This king's very aware and this empress is not. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. 
let's get some advice. <laughs> let's get some Oracle decks. Everyone's been loving the Goddess deck, so I'm going to roll with that one. Oh, I just got lightheaded. Maybe I'm going to... Uh. <sighs> Ever since I got back from Sedona, it's been really hard to do readings, just being totally honest with you guys. Just makes it just my my chakras get overactive um, a lot faster. Please import any messages. Um, not sorry. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm like already like ah. <laughs> Break time after this. What energies will be beneficial for my sagis to harness regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my sagis to harness regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Sagis to harness regarding this spread? <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to do a video on this card because clearly everybody's been getting this card. I cannot believe this came out again. You're the fourth sign to get this card. And I'm like, I haven't even done half the signs yet. You're the fourth one out of five. Virgo, Libra, Leo, and Sag. Yeah. Right? Virgo? I thought it was Virgo. Or was it Gemini? No, it was... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Bast. Independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Wow. I feel like this is for the Empress. You got... you. Whoever the Empress is here, Sag, if you're resonating as the Empress... You got to cut away from thinking about this person or dealing with this person. I'm not saying you're codependent. I'm not saying that at all. You just need more independence. You need more of it. You need more of that. And I feel like this king is really independent right now, really practicing that by getting away from this queen of pentacles or dropping the thought or thoughts or that connection that they have with this queen of pentacles. What other energies will be beneficial? Ooh. Green Tara, start delegating. Oh, I love that card. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Ooh. Like I said, Saji, some of you are really distracted with work. This could be someone you're dealing with at work that's making your life miserable or really difficult, and it's all consuming. Okay, so also keep that in mind. What other energies for my, uh, are beneficial for my Sagis regarding this spread? Let's see. On the bottom, we have, you know, it's so funny. Every time I, I do this, I do this deck. I look at this deck. I swear cards just appear that I've never seen before. And I'm like, I don't think that was part of that deck. I mean, I'm sure they were, but it's just a very weird feeling when I when that happens. Sulis, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Oh, okay, Sag. It's interesting because this king is in emotions. Like they are so in their emotions and their feels. Empress says, I don't think you are. I think you're actually more in your headspace. So Empress says, maybe you need to get in touch with your emotional body a little bit more. Okay, because this king definitely is tapped in. And you're fire. You usually don't need water for it. You usually don't need water unless you got a lot of scorpion or chart, you're a cusper. Um, yeah, I feel like it's more about tapping into your emotional body for you guys. That might make you wake up a little bit as far as disconnecting from whoever that energy is and like i said it could just be an old wound of yours all right so let's go ahead and read these out <laughs> for everybody who's tired of hearing fast i apologize i get newbies all the time fast independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success like the cat you're fiercely independent yet you also need affection and playful companions now is the time to balance your social interactions and solitude while you may ask for a ask others for their opinions ultimately you must make your own decisions your freedom and independence are top priorities so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured spend time alone give yourself permission to play ask for your needs to be met make your own decision work with cats and pay attention to your pet feline or get a new cat so many cats i swear are getting adopted it's actually a very interesting little phenomenon the egyptian goddess bass transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her all seeing night vision uh, with her all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bast also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bast has the rare distinction of being both a moon and sun goddess. All right, now let's look at Green Tara. 
Green Tara, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. When you feel resentment in your heart because you're carrying more than your share of the load, you're doing no favors for anyone, including yourself. You need to ask for help to ensure that you have private time for contemplation and rest. One of the reasons why I'm able to sit so peacefully is that I know the secret of true productivity. It doesn't come through struggle or strife. Rather, it comes from a clear and focused mind that's unchallenged by indecisiveness. You see, making decisions in the shortest route to triumphant passages. Once you make up your mind, the rest follows quite naturally. I therefore urge you to sit quietly and follow the footsteps of your mind. Empress says, be sure you meditate a lot. I mean, we did have the hermit come out as your overall energy with the sun in reverse, really needing to gain that insight and enlightenment. Be open to your heart's meanderings. They will quietly lead you to make your most important decisions and the rest will fall into place. Don't try to be a superwoman or superman. Give your child chores. Ask your partner for help. Accept assistance when, as it's offered to you. Release guilt or the belief that it's weak to ask for help. Be a team player. Tara is a Hindu and Buddhist goddess whose name means star in the ancient Sanskrit language. Her many personality and aspects are represented by different colors. Green Tara is known for being a speedy helper who offers emergency aid and provides rapid understanding of situations and relationships. She rescues us by empowering us to save ourselves. It's very interesting. Yeah, like I was saying, I feel like the, these two energies, this King of the Empress, are supposed to do something. They, they're clearly supposed to come together and something will be celebrated. Something will be celebrated here. You two might end up working together, just saying. We do have a lot of pentacles on the board. And they are also King of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, that's definitely going to be the case. For some of you, that's definitely going to be the case. All right, let's read the last one. Okay. Sulis, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Water's curative effects are well known and well documented. Since the human body is composed almost entirely of water, this makes sense. Water can wash away sadness, pain, and the ill effects of suffering. Engage in purification rituals involving water more often, and you'll experience an uplifting in your spirit and outlook. Water's magical properties are amplified when you infuse it with your prayers and intentions. Whether you soak in a sea salt bath, or bathe in a freshwater spring, you're sure to see the difference the water will make. Go for a meditative walk near water. Take a vacation near the ocean. Move to a situated home situated closer to a body of water. Swim. Take a sea salt bath to detox your your energetic and physical body and drink more water. Sulis is a Celtic sun goddess who oversees bodies of water associated with healing. The fountain of healing water in Bath, England is named in Suli's honor. Call upon Sulis while conducting healing ceremonies involving water, while taking a revitalizing swim or bath, or when you need help arranging your schedule or finances to allow a trip to the ocean or lake. Very nice, Saggy. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some advice from the spirit animal deck, and then we'll call this a day. Any advice for my Saggies? Any advice for my Saggies? Yeah, Empress says, the more I'm in this, I really feel like you're distracted by ah, some pretty shitty memories of someone who is very manipulative with you. If this is a reconciliation, it's possible it was this person who has now changed and matured and grown up. It's very possible. It's very possible. And that could also be holding them back, okay? It's not gonna be for everybody. Most of you, this is someone I don't think you've been with before. Let's see, any other advice? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? All right, come back, come back. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? 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 No, oh, interesting. Turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61 breaking down to a seven. So being guided on your path. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an eight. This is so interesting because I feel like these are two, the two energies represented here in the reading with the empress being the seahorse and the, uh, 
king being the turkey. Uh, I think they have gone through a bit of a journey. I think this king has learned a lot and matured a lot. And I think that they are actually very grateful to know of this empress. They know this empress one way or another, whether it's like within the workplace or they have a history of being friends or like they met recently. Like this king has their eye on this empress to some capacity. I feel like the empress, like I said, is very distracted though. Seahorse spirit is a bit of a stagnant energy, but it's like, um, uh, it's funny because it's, it's the empress. It's it's a very like pregnant kind of energy of like something's being incubated, something's being focused on, something's being worked on, and that's a process. Like I said, the empress is very fixated, and for a lot of you, it's a work thing that you're fixated on. And this king is trying to come in grateful, grateful, and I'm also getting humble as well. Ooh, your <laughs> your energy humbles them. For some of you, it humbles them. They look up to you. You're at the eight, they're at the seven. This person really admires you, Sag. If you're the Empress, they really admire you. Any other advice for my Sagis? Any other advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Sagis? Regarding this spread. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Okay, last card out, we've got the fox, which is funny. All that Gemini referencing is very gemini -in for me as a reader, the fox. Think on your feet, 27, breaking down to a nine. This is an intelligent energy. Um, it's playing smart. It's, it's plotting, but it's in a smart way. It's in a witty way, a clever way, a cunning way, being very particular with movements here. I feel like this is the king's energy that they're actually trying to be careful in how they approach the empress, but damn it. There it goes. We made a second video. So I feel like this is the king's energy that they're being very careful in how they even attempt to approach this empress when they decide to. But like I said, a lot of them feel discouraged um, in doing so. It's like they're, it's almost a bit of a perfectionist energy of having everything to needing to be like just right and perfect to feel confident enough to come in. Like that's how smart this person's trying to play this or plan this or approach you empresses i also feel empresses you do have to be cautious and careful if you're actively engaging with an energy like this some of you it's just a wound from the past that you're having to release and work through or someone that you know was really upsetting to deal with and you got to cut that energetic cord but some of you are actively dealing with someone like this you have to be careful this kind of energy because this energy is very manipulative okay so just play it smart if you're deciding to stay attached to this person but if you want to deal with this king of pentacles king of cups you have to detach from this and you have to be just as smart and and manipulative as this, not manipulative but be be on your toes with this person be on your toes with this person if this person's actually in your life in a big way if it's just a person from the past cut that cord cut that wound out deal with it you'll be fine this is mostly the king of cups king of pentacles energy that that's coming at you and this could be just the advice for them to be a little smart in how they approach you empresses i know a lot of information a lot of information i am gonna need a break after this overall sagis we have scarab beetle spirit magic works through you 52 breaking down to a seven you got two seven so again being guided on your path Mag um scarab beetle spirit is a manifestation energy but it's also blessed it's the blessed one it's the chosen one this is i'm telling you something big has to happen when you two come not has to but will when you two come together something that's very special and something that will be celebrated will be celebrated it's a beautiful beautiful thing and this is a reminder of what you can have it's empresses it's a reminder of what you can have let go of the wound around this person let go of the wound around this person or just cut them out of your life if you're actively dealing with them because you got bigger and better things if you decide to join forces with this king of pentacles king of cups and once you get let go of this person energetically physically emotionally mentally spiritually this king of pentacles king of cups will come in okay oh sagis i'm gonna go lay down I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Have a great birthday season, Sag. Sorry I didn't say happy birthday in the beginning, but happy birthday to my Sagis, okay? Namaste.